training the little baby otters how to catch fish in the pool. So we're gonna try to get our first. Look at that, guys. We got a bunch right there. Look, all we gotta do is fill her up. We're just gonna pour it in here because this water is perfectly fine. Casper just got a smaller fish, and I think he, he's eating the whole thing. Look at him. Yeah. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel guys. I hope all of you guys are having an absolutely amazing Saturday. Now for today's video, I'm going to be doing a highly anticipated one which is training the little baby otters how to catch fish in the pool. So yep, you heard that right guys. I've got the little otters right here. Guys, come here, what's up? Come say hi to the camera. Say hi, hello. So we got Mr. Coral and Mr. Casper right here. They're just having a grand old time this morning out here inside of the grass playing around. But these guys have no idea what I have planned. They have no idea they are going to get to get to learn how to hunt fish for the first time. I am not sure at all what these little guys are gonna do. What are these little monsters? I'm not sure what they're gonna do, but it's gonna be pretty cool to see the reaction. So, in order to go get these fish, I'm gonna have to go pick up Landon. You guys know who Landon is. And we are going to go over to his grandma's house where she has all kinds of giant ponds that are full of guppies and sword tails and all kinds of cool fish. So I'm gonna go put these little monsters away. Wait, where are they? Oh my gosh, look. Hi, Hazel. Hi, look at them playing around. Look, they made their way up here. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna have to go put these otter kids away and head over to Landon. Landon should be here. Told him to come out. Oh, look at you. A wild Landon. What's up? What's up, bro? Right here. Oh, oh wait, we're locked. Wait, 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 wait. Technical right. difficulties. Technical difficulties, bro. Two hours later. Yeah. <laughs> so Landon's telling me that his grandma is just loaded down with guppy sword, sword tails, right? Sword tails, platies, cichlids of all colors. All it's colors. crazy. So what we're doing today is we could have taken the easy route. We could have gone to a pet store and bought a bunch of fish. But I'd rather go catch fish that have been breeding and living outside in a pond for years because you never know at the pet store if there's chemicals or just something's wrong with the fish. All these fish are pretty healthy. So I guess we got to head over there now, bro. Yeah, she said that the platies and the sword tails are breeding like crazy too fast for the cichlid sack. Awesome. So we have to go out there and catch a few of them anyway. And I think it'll be perfect for these otters. Yep, guys, I think the otters are going to absolutely love these fish. So I will see all of you guys over at Landon's grandma's where we're going to be catching our fish. Guys, we just arrived here at Landon's grandma's house. And guys, this is like a jungle here. Look at this. There's an entire crazy cactus garden. I mean, Landon, this property's what, like an acre, two acres? Two acres. Two acres. But you can't even tell because it is literally like a full-on jungle here. So Landon's going to give me the grand tour. I haven't seen this property yet. But. But he says there's a massive pond here that's literally just full of fish so we're gonna kind of make our way over there it's like way on like the back side over by the house because this is just like the little guest house right here it's, I mean guys take a look at this Landon showed me around and there's just some crazy landscaping here I mean dude I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park literally like Jurassic Park right now bro <laughs> this is sick watch out for the Raptors yeah so guys go subscribe to Landon right now and if you guys don't know if you're from the Miami Ooh. area Landon's grandpa started Parrot Jungle, which is now Jungle Island. He started that like a long, long time ago. Actually, your like great grandpa. The 60s, yeah. In the 60s, very long time ago. But look at this. We've made it. I think we're here. We're at the pond, the ginormous pond. And this is the pond right here. I mean, it's an absolutely massive pond that goes all the way over here, and then it goes all the way here. So there's not really any fish right here. I mean, not ones that I can see. But if you look over here in the hydrilla, there's tons of cichlids and tons of little sword tails, guys. You can see them right there, look at them. Look at all the fish. And normally there's like an awesome waterfall that's running, but we turned it off so the audio would be a little bit better. Bro, you didn't tell me you had a crocodile right here. Wait, wait. Oh. So Landon's grandma is feeding the fish right now. She doesn't want to be on camera, so we're not gonna show her, but she's throwing some bread in. We're trying to get the fish up and already, oh my gosh, guys, look at this. You can see, I don't know if it, you can tell on camera because of the reflection, but there is a ton of fish coming for the bread. And we have our net, and we're just going to wait for them to come up to the surface, and we're going to try to net them so we can feed these little otters. Right, so if you look right there, our target fish is those orange fish right there. We want the orange ones. We'll take some small cichlids, but what we want is those platies, the sword tails. And there is an absolute ton of them. And this is what we want for the otters. The otters are going to want to hunt these fish. They're still young. This is actually the first time that they're going to be introduced to live fish. So it's going to be pretty cool to see if they can get the hang of it, if they have that natural instinct. We may have to assist them a little bit, but we're going to continue to chum the fish up, net the fish, and take them home to feed these otters. So we've got our bucket right here. The fish oh, are being chummed up. 
and I'm going to take this lid off and we're going to fill it up in this pond right here. I don't want to do it over there and spook the fish. We're just going to fill it up and I actually don't have a bubbler, but that's going to be just fine because I only live about five minutes away from here, surprisingly. Let's get a little more water and we're not going to take those plants either. We're just going to take these plants back out. All right, Landon, I've got our water. You ready? Now we got to get these fish. We're going to try to get our first... Look at that, guys. We got a bunch right there. We're Sweet. just going to put some of those in the bucket. And look at them. Look at the diversity in them. They're all different colors. We're not going to need that many because these otters are still small. So we'll maybe need, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 of them. No nothing crazy. Just enough for them to get their first taste of fish. So we're going to toss this piece of bread in. See if we can get some more up to the surface right there. That's going to spook them. But look at them. They're all going to come up. We're just going to wait. Look at them all coming up. Look at them. Look at them. Look at that, guys. I got a couple more. But look, we got one cichlid. We got to release the cichlid. Look how blue he is, the electric blue cichlid. Look how gorgeous he is. But this little guy is going to go right back in the water where he can live and grow up. But these guys right here, we're going to take these. These are cool. These are beautiful little sword tails. Look at them. Absolutely gorgeous. This one's like a real deep orange, and this one's a little bit lighter. I'm going to put them in there. Guys, look at this. We got a bunch more fish. I mean, look at the diversity in all the fish. Look how small they are and look how gorgeous they are. I mean, these otters are going to absolutely just love hunting these fish. Now, we're going to release most of these right here, especially the sickly like this guy right here. We're just going to put them right back on in. Guys, it's raining. We got to get out of here. So we're headed out of Landon's grandma's house right now. And unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to put this otter training on hold until tomorrow. Because if you look, guys, it is, uh, it's raining. It's cloudy, and it's just not good weather at all for training these otters. So we are going to have to go and buy a bubbler right now so we can keep these fish alive in the bucket until tomorrow. Guys, we have made it back to the house, and we went and bought a bubbler. Landon's getting it all set up right there. I just want to show you guys right now. We've got our bubbler right there. We paid $10 for it, and it is aerating our water right here for our fish. So look at those fish right there. Beautiful little fishies. So we are going to be doing this in the morning time because unfortunately the weather is just not good right now. It's overcast, it's off and on rains. And I will see all of you guys in the morning when we are going to be training these little otters. Good morning, good morning my beautiful people. Guys, I have been blessed today with some amazing weather. Given that yesterday afternoon was pretty crappy weather so you guys could see it is sunny blue skies out. Look at that, gorgeous, gorgeous weather. And this weather is absolutely perfect. Wait, wait, wait. This weather is absolutely perfect for training these little baby otters. So before we bring the otters out, introduce them into the pool. Well, we're going to have to get this pool set up. It's not set up at all. It's actually over here. So let me go grab that pool right now. We're going to put it in the same spot, like way back there, and fill it with water. There she is. In the same spot as last time. So we just want to stretch this out. Check this out, guys. The pool is totally assembled, guys. If this is your first time on the channel, go watch the first video where I'm like teaching the otters how to eat. Watch the second one where I'm teaching them how to swim, and then come back and watch this one. But if you've made it this far, well, maybe just stick around. All we gotta do is fill her up. All right, this looks like it's enough water. So we're gonna add a little bit more water. Ever since I put them in the water the first time, they've been coming out every day, getting a little more acclimated to the water. And since these guys are gonna be hunting fish, it's gonna have to be a little bit deeper. So you can see it's just about, you know, ankle deep, which is going to be absolutely perfect for these otters. So right now I'm going to go head inside. I'm gonna grab the otters. I'm gonna bring them outside and then we're going to add the fish in and see if they'll hunt. What's up, little guys? Hi. Come on down. Oh my gosh. Hi guys. Hey, what's up? You guys ready to catch some fishies? Guys, I know you had a good night. You had a good breakfast. Now it's time for your afternoon snack. Hi. Look how cute they are. So this right here is Miss Coral. If you guys don't know, this is Coral the Otter right here. Coral, can you say hi? That's Coral. And then this is my favorite boy right here, Mr. Casper. Coral and Casper. Hi Casper. How are you doing? I'm holding them just fine, guys, if any of you are concerned. Fully supported. You want to chew my bracelet? No, you can chew on some fishes. Come here, guys. Come here. Come here. Watch. They love to chase me. If you guys haven't seen... Come on. Let's go. This way. Okay, not working. Come over here. We got to get in the pool. We got to get in the pool. Come, 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 come. Hello, Mr. Cor Casper. Here you go, Casp. There you go, Casper. And there you go, Miss Coral. Oh, you're going to climb out? No. You can't do that. Here, come here. I'm in here with you. Yeah, you don't have to climb out. You can come over here to me. 
Now that they're in here, I just gotta add the fish in. So I actually dropped the water level down, so I'm literally just gonna pour it in here because this water is perfectly fine. Let's see if they see the fish. You guys see the fish? Oh, all the fish are cornering. Oh, look, look, look. Guys, look, Casper just grabbed the fish, but he, he bit it, but he didn't fully eat it because these guys are still learning how to swim. But look, he caught this little fish right here, and I think he, he kind of bit it really badly. Hey, you want it? Hey, Casper. Now, guys, I'm not here trying to torture animals. This is the natural way of life for otters. I'm introducing them to live fish so they can hunt it, and he took it. Wait, you want that? Oh, yeah, look at that. That's so yummy. Oh, look at that fish, buddy. That's some yummy fish. Yeah. Guys, go comment down below right now what, what you think of this because this is, oh my gosh, Casper, why didn't you eat it? What the heck? Buddy, that's your first fish. Look at them, they're both trying to eat it. Casper, you caught your first fish, guys. Go comment down below a congratulation to Casper because he caught and is eating his first fish. Well, he ate half of it. He didn't want any more. Wait, now he found it. Guys, look, your first fish. You caught your first fish, Casper. Coral, you want to try it? Let's see if Coral wants it. Oh, yeah, that's a yummy fish. She's like, what in the heck is this? I've been drinking a bottle my whole life. I don't know about this fish. This is some strange fish. Oh, yeah. Here, try it. No? Okay. Guys, I'm thinking that Casper caught a fish that was just a little too big for him. He's still a small little otter that's getting five bottles a day. So I think that really big fish was a little too big for him. So maybe he'll hunt a smaller one. Casper just got a smaller fish and I think he, he's eating the whole thing. Look at him, yeah. So that big one was a little too big like my, I suspected, but he's just chowing down on this smaller one. Coral, when are you gonna catch one? You gonna have your brother teach you. Is it gone? I think it's gone. Look at that guys, there's only remnants of it left. Oh wait, no, he only ate part of it. Wow, guys, I don't think these guys are fully ready to, you know, be eating the fish whole yet. But, you know, they're good enough to actually hunt them. What? What? What is that? What is that? That's a, you want the fish? Now, guys, I want to let all of you guys know that otters are not pets at all. These are wild animals. You know, these guys belong to ZWF Miami Zoological Wildlife Foundation. If you guys are not following them yet, what are you doing, guys? If you're in the Miami area, you want to play with some baby tigers, lions, monkeys, guess what? Give us a follow. Come visit us, and you guys can meet these baby otters in a couple of weeks. Just call the office. Let them know you want to see the otters. Let them know you came from my YouTube channel, and uh, they'll get you all set up. Well, kids, it doesn't look like you're fully ready to be eating fish yet, but, you know, you're good enough to hunt them. Look, I think Casper's got one right there. Look at him. He got another one. Casper caught another fishy. Oh my goodness, Mr. Casper. Come here, Miss Coral. Come on out, Miss Coral. Miss Casper, come on out. Here you go, guys. Dry out in the grass. And that, my friends, is going to end today's video. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching. And if you guys have not already, please go give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you thought of these baby otters eating and catching their very first fish, guys. Absolutely amazing and so much fun and guys if you are not subscribed already and you enjoy the content on the channel and it is your first time here Well, guess what guys? It is the first link down below